State Ministers for Internal Affairs and Finance Obiga Kania and David Bahati led the government teams from the respective ministries that appeared before the National Economic Committee. During the interface, government requested approval for a $104 US million loan to start the second phase of the CCTV camera installations across the country. However, some committee members queried the amount. According to the MPs, the project duplicates some of the work of the e-government projects already being handled by the National Information Technology Authority, NITA U. We're telling us to, 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 to borrow, start pay, paying high interest rate on issues which are not connected to the cameras. That's number one. Now, what we are saying this project is, we must put ducts there so that whether it is us or it is their first, or NITA, which it is first, whoever comes second will merely plug in. This is the whole concept, and that's why you're saying this element of that is important. There was also a concern that some of the already installed CCTV cameras are not functioning. It's a project, but people have interpreted it as a finished system, and this is a network. So uh, you will go to an area, you find an automatic now recognition camera. But the network is not complete. So if, if it is not complete, it will not come on air. Whereas the cameras will be purchased using a domestic loan from Standard Chartered Bank, the insurance of the cameras was awarded to Sinoshu Insurance Company in China. This revelation did not go down well with some lawmakers. All this money you are passing is going out of the country, not in the main area. The government uh, should support the insurance, uh, the insurance sector to ensure that it grows. But also as part of local content, government should give as much business as possible to the local insurance companies as local content so that they can expand, contribute to the financial sector, and also create jobs for our children. The MPs also implored government to come out with a framework that will help integrate some of the privately installed CCTV cameras into the national grid. It is true the individuals who will want to have their cameras, uh, their CCTV systems for their own home, they fear, they, they talk about issues of privacy and so forth. And remember the chairperson rose about the issue of the, of the law. We're also in the process of amending the law so that people are protected and the information that we get is privileged and is secured. In case somebody leaks it, whether it's the police or not, that person has a right, recourse to, to law, for his own protection. After a spate of assassinations last year, President Museveni ordered for the installation of the CCTV cameras. According to police, so far, 48 cases have been solved with the help of these cameras around different police stations in Kampala. Ali Mivole, NTV.